Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be checking out one of my favorite uncommon skins, Manic. This skin has sweat written all over it. Just look at it. This is like the sweatiest skin you can possibly get. Now what I love about this skin is the tattoos. Love it. You gotta love the black and red color scheme. And of course, the face mask. I think it's really cool. It's got this like almost Japanese in inspired uh, art style to it. It is just super cool. Don't forget guys, if you want this skin to come back to the shop, you gotta like this video. And also hit the subscribe button. We're on the way to a thousand subs and I want you here for the journey. I also wanna talk about some combos I like with this. I like it with the Twitch Prime because it's got the black and red, but I love it with the Dragon Crest. Now this is the back bling from Ultima Knight from season 10. So if you have that in your locker, you're definitely gonna wanna equip this one immediately. Just look at it, it looks perfect with this. Now, of course, if you're an OG and you have completed the season two battle pass, you could always use the Black Knight's back sh uh, shield as well. Now I did not finish the season two battle pass. I played in season two and it just doesn't look the same when you rock it with, you know, the standard squire shield or royal shield. It's just not the same. Some other black and red options could be like the road flare, which actually looks pretty good. This is from um, the biker looking girls skin. And I like it, it's just not quite as nice as some of the other ones. You do some other black and red ones, but unfortunately they're pretty big on a lot of them. And I like more of a minimalistic back bling. The geode from facet looks okay. Not a huge fan of it though. I also like to use it with Morning Glory. Now, this is Katrina's uh, back bling from the Final Reckoning pack. It doesn't really fit her as well, but I think when you're like running around, it just looks cool. Now, another popular option that I see a lot in games is the First Order and the Sith. Now, these are really cool back blings because they are red. They kind of just stay behind you and they don't get in the way at all. They both look actually really good on this skin. Deadpool's katanas look really cool as well, just because it kind of gives it more of like an assassin look. Now, if you have the shield from season five, you could also use that as it's also black and red. And of course, one of everyone's favorites, the wolf pack. This is from season six. I mean, this coming at you is just equivalent to the sweatiest thing possible. Now, perhaps you didn't start as soon in Fortnite, maybe you're a newer player to the game, so you don't have some of these older chapter one back blings. Fear not, chapter two, season one, last battle pass, we got the ready ruck. Now this looks amazing with it as well in the black and red variant. It really looks cool on this one. I've seen a few people also using the ice mantle in the black and red. Now again, this is from a previous season, so if you don't have it, unfortunately there's no way to get it anymore but it does look pretty cool on this skin. And last but not least, one of my favorites, the Assassin Pack. This is from the John Wick set. Um, it just looks cool because like I said earlier, she does kind of have an Assassin look to her. And I think having this back bling kind of completes it. Now for pickaxes, you can use a lot of the ones that people would consider sweaty. You know, you've got your lucky pickaxe, you've got your Icebreaker pickaxe, which looks pretty good actually. I really do like this pickaxe with this skin. Another option could be to use the Banner Brigade set of pickaxes, which is the emblematic. Now this you can use with the black and red banner and that looks really good as well. Of course, every sweat has the driver in their arsenal. Can't go wrong. And one of my personal favorites, Vision. It has the black, the red around the eyes. I just think it's a cool pickaxe to begin with and it looks great with this skin. Now, if again, if you're new to the game and maybe don't have some of these other styles, you could always go with Tiantina's pickaxe and it looks really good. This is from this season's battle pass. Well, depending on when you watch the video, chapter two, season two's battle pass. It looks really good too. You got the black and red, the grenade kind of makes it look cool as well. Now, for people that played earlier, you could always use the Scarlet Scythe. This is black, red, has some cool effects to it. Sounds good. It's just overall a great one. Somewhere there is a sweat probably foaming at the mouth looking at this right now. Everyone's favorite pickaxe from season one, the Reaper. Now this comes back every Halloween, 
um, during the Fort Nightmares. So if you don't have it, you can always snag a copy of this one. I love it. It sounds great. I wish it was a little bit quieter, but it's a great pickaxe to use. Now again, not everyone has some of the older pickaxes, so here's another new one, Party Crashers. This one looks great, you got the black and red. It just looks amazing with this skin. Now my personal favorite to use is the Instigator. This is from the Twitch Prime Pack, and it looks fantastic, sounds great, and it just overall is an amazing pickaxe. So using this with that skin, is great back in season eight was the inferno challenge pack if you purchase that you could unlock this scythe as well being black and red pretty obviously it's a good choice i personally love it and would recommend using this one as well now for some of you more ogs out there how about the trusty number two it's a classic this is back when uh season three john wick looking skin you know the reaper we all thought it was John Wick. It is John Wick. Come on. It's got a pencil. It's got a number two pencil. This is kind of a classic sweaty pickaxe. So if you have this one in your arsenal, definitely a good choice. Now, as far as gliders are concerned with this, I actually like using the season three paper parasol um, just because the coloring. You could also use the one shot. Now, this was from the John Wick uh, LTM that we had that if you won the match, you got this umbrella. I use this umbrella all the time just because it is solid black. Another great one to use would be Scarlet Strike. Again, season nine looks good and it's black and red. For the people that played in season five, some black and some red right here with downshift. Now this is a really cool one because when you're going, you get the red uh, contrail coming out of the lights. Again, going back to season three, we have high octane. Now this is from the hired gun set, which was basically John Wick at the time. And what's nice about this one is when you turn left or right, the blinkers work. When you stop, the brake lights actually light up. And when you go forward, you know, nothing's there, but it looks just like John Wick's car. It's a cool glider. And not only that, but the black and red really matches the theme. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna use the following combo. Manic as the main skin, obviously. The Ready Ruck as the back bling. Again, I just love this one. Not only is it black and red, but I didn't mention earlier is the shotgun shells. You've got the ammo that matches as well. I'm gonna be using the Instigator pickaxe and the One Shot Umbrella. To me, this is a fantastic combo. Now, the one other thing I wanna point out is gun wraps. I normally use Boogeyman just because it's all black, but for this skin, there's a lot of really cool ones you could use. Basically anything with black and red is gonna look good. So if you're pretty new, you got Blasted from this season. You could use Ultra Red from season seven. One of my personal favorites is Scavenger because it's black, red, and white. I just think this one looks good on a lot of different guns and it looks really good with this skin. Another great one you could use is the banner wrap. You could make it a red banner, which would also include red on the gun. Um, and you can change, you know, your icon wherever you want. I always use the octopus, but you could use something like the double pump, you know, just to show off how sweaty you are. Now, the molten angular shift also looks fantastic with this skin um, because it is black and red. Now, the last one I want to point out is knighted this is the one that i'm going to use because it is just all black and red there is no white in it and this is from uh season 10 this was the ultima knights gun wrap i'm gonna apply that to all so you can see what they look like i just think it looks really good with this skin uh, and the whole black and red theme with all that said let's go ahead and jump into creative check out this skin a little bit closer <laughs> 